Hello and welcome to programming. This is video number 24. Um, in this video I'll show you how to set up IntelliJ IDEA with the capital J. And this version is going to be community edition. I want to show you how to set it up for developing Java FX. So I assume that you have gone to the website to download the IDE. So if you go to www.jetbrains.com and you click on IntelliJ IDEA, it should get you to this page which can download the community edition right here. The current version is I think it's um, 11 I think it's a uh, 11.0.2 so if you save that now assume that you have downloaded that into your download folder and when it's done it should be somewhere inside download yep that's the one now when it's done it's, it will be like that and let me copy it to my window box and install it so I have in uh, the community ed edition I'll just accept the default so that's what it uh, that's what I do now prior to this you're gonna need to download and install JDK the version I recommend you to download and install is version 7 update 3 which is that one you can just go ahead and download it from maybe I should show you the website anyway um, if you go to Oracle and click on download and select Java for developers Now, if you um, click on that, you're gonna get the uh, JDK Standard Edition version, uh, the JDK version seven of the three. You can go ahead and download that. It will come bundled with Java FX SDK. So if you install it, it will in automatically install JV. M. the virtual machine for the JDK and it will ask you to install if you want to in install JavaFX you can just click and install now I have mine IntelliJ um, CE installed so I will start it up and click on OK I don't need that anymore I don't need that either neither do I need that one so this is the IntelliJ idea Now you can create a new Java project. You can start creating uh, you could start creating Java FX project right away by creating a project from scratch. 
and let's give it let's give the project name Java FX project the default um, the default option for IntelliJ IDEA is to create a project with one module in there so if you're gonna be creating multiple modules I recommended you I recommend you not to use the to uncheck that so you don't want to create um, a module the default module with the project you can leave that blank and click on finish now inside your project you're going to be creating multiple modules so just click on that and then say you want to create the module from scratch and let's name this test FX next and next and hmm. right now it um, the IntelliJ idea doesn't find any um, JDK install so you will have problem running it we're gonna first have to configure the JDK by selecting the appropriate directory for the JDK which is installed so that's the one JDK 7 update 3 click on OK now we have the JDK platform click on finish we can start this right away but the only thing we can do with the JDK is the regular Java project or the module the module but if you want to add um, Java FX to it we're gonna have to configure the SDK and at a run time for Java FX which is inside the Oracle if you install it it's gonna be inside Oracle and then go ahead select on the SDK and select the RT folder go to lip folder and then select that JFXRT and then okay it would be best if you can add the document part to your JDK but that um, all that is required for you to start your FX project anyway I, I might be confusing you a little bit by calling a project or a module project or a project or module but you know what I mean right so click on OK you should be fine now we don't want any uh, tip to pop up every time we start the IDE so we just uncheck that and then click on close hopefully we can start creating a new package call it test effects and let's keep we're going to have to wait for the IDE to complete the indexing otherwise we won't be able to create any Java classes right click on that and now we can create Java class the Java class is going to be um, F 
Fix app. Let's say hello. Fix. Let's start the first application. Alternate enter and then select the that one. Now alternate enter again to implement the method. We're gonna have to add the launch method call to it to start the application now uh, we gonna be creating a group I'm doing this blind without any document so Again, alternate enter and select the JavaFX scene dot group. Now create a scene for it. Control Shift P to get the option of the parameters, and then this should be in the root, the width, and the height. Since I don't have any document in there, so I don't know what what it is supposed to be there. Let's uh, just cross my finger to hope that I know what I'm doing. I suppose that 400 would be the width and 300 would be the height, and the paint, which is which would I get from color. I need the background of it to be that one green. I'll fill the whole scene up with the green background. But the color is not from um, the AWT package. It's going to be from um, JavaFX. Now we can set the scene to be seen and then show now let's put something in there just to show that we've done something let's put a circle in there Now let's see what up my option. I have a double double. I suppose that's the X and Y position of the center and the radius eighty with color yes color let's put it in red red and green hmm. now we should be fine running this so I hope Right click on this and then say run. What do I 
do with this? Okay. I just blocked the um, connection, I hope. So, um, here we go. We have the uh, a scene with green ba background. And I forget to add the circle. How to add the circle. Circle. That's how I add the circle to the scene. To the root, which um, be the root of the scene. And there you go. I have a red circle on a green background. So that's the first Java FX application in IntelliJ for you. And that's it for video number 24. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.